Why are you standing? I've got a fucking pain in my back that I'm starting to hope is a tumor. Aw, uh, again? Maybe it's just kidney failure. Yeah, but there's a shipment of brand spanking new chairs supposed to be coming in today. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to some lumbar support. Yeah, good luck getting one of those. Partners care more about their chairs than they do about their children. Well, I made a few calls, used some of the old uh, Claxton charm. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Good, I'm glad. I too am feeling pretty good. Ask me why. I don't need your shit today, Cappinelli. There's a 12-hour Star Wars marathon at the Capitol on Saturday, and I'm not doing a stitch of work for a whole day, baby. I'm thinking it's a good time to break out my Darth Vader outfit. You want to hear my Darth Vader impression? Nope. <gasps> Skywalker. <gasps> I am your mother's cousin's neighbor's best friend's father. What do you think? Terrible. You sound like Sean Connery jerking off in slow motion. Doofus. Did you call me? What do you want, Gilligan? Robin's just about to do her presentation on income trust for some of the lawyers. So? Well, Robin's not feeling very confident about her presentation, so I was wondering if you guys could come with me, because she gets really abusive when she feels insecure. Dude, where the hell are you? Hide me. Seriously. He's in here! She was all like, that's not Boba Fett. I mean, I was like, I know Boba Fett. You do, yes. There she is. Yeah, she's a killer lawyer, but make her speak in front of more than five people. <whistles> hey, Stu, why don't you go say hi? No. Yeah, go say hi. Stu, I want to talk to you when this stupid thing is over with. Robin, come on. You're smart, you're prepared. Let me give you a piece of advice. I'm fine, Sam. I don't need any help. OK. The new chairs are here. New chairs, new chairs, new chairs, new chairs, new chairs. Oh, nice. God, these are so comfortable. I don't see. Good. Certainly wouldn't mind getting pushed around the halls in one of these babies. My chair's coming. Okay. Called on a check. She's coming. All right, people. Robin Howland on income trust. <laughs> oh, crap! Just uh, talk amongst yourselves for a minute. Corporations and their consultants have had difficulty analyzing the ass. The ass. The ass. Liquidity? The ass fuck. I'm so sorry. The asset. Right, okay, all good. Here we go. And of course, the availability of other investment opportunities to consider and... and that's actually it. <laughs> Robin. <clears throat> that was even worse than usual. I know. It was awesome. <laughs> Poor kid's gonna get lamb based in a peer evaluation. I'll take care of our girl. Don't you worry. Well, 
It doesn't look like Robin's going to stick around to take questions, so let's take care of her peer evaluation right now. Who wants to start? <sighs> wow. <laughs> wow, huh? Robin really knows her income trust. She was a bit nervous, but she really knows her stuff. She did a great job. Yeah, Robin did a great job. Yeah, uh, Robin did a great job. Clark, I want you to know I consider myself blessed to have witnessed your amazing powers of persuasion. People are sheep, Sam. Say pretty much anything with confidence, they'll just go with it. Oh my God, you know what you just did in there? You used the Jedi mind trick on all those people. Clark, you're a Jedi master. Look, I'm not getting trapped into one of your stupid nerd fantasies today. I'm not in the mood. <sighs> you too, Jar Jar. <sighs> Teach me the ways of the Force, master. <sighs> Sam. Byron Kaplan has requested you specifically for a deal he's working on. Well done, Sam, the managing partner. The Emperor himself. <laughs> yes, Mr. Fagan, I understand this is your law firm, but Mr. Lipschitz is entitled to a chair. Hello? Hello? All righty then, Maple Orchard. This deal is being headed by Kaplan, starts Prano, and the good news is you'll have to be in all weekend. Uh, Cam, I'm gonna be honest with you. I got a Star Wars marathon this weekend. Pardon me. People are sheep, Sam. Say pretty much anything with confidence, they'll just go with it. You don't want me on this deal, Cam. I'm already busy with the Duraxo IPO. You can get another associate to handle this one. Cam Belter. Mr. Lipschitz. I can you hold for just one second? Oh, fine, I forgot about Duraxo. I'll get Kaplan somebody else. Uh, yes, Mr. Lipschitz. Uh, yes, well, I suggest that you tell Mr. Fagan to give the chair back to you. Hey, Sam. Huh? Have you seen um, any of the help with the new office chairs? No. Hey, I just used the Jedi mind trick on Cam, and I got out of a shitload of work this weekend. Do you ever stop being a geek? You know something, Clark? Star Wars was the cultural phenomenon of our youth. And whether or not that means anything to you, it's a part of who I am. You know what the cultural phenomenon of my youth was? What's that? This. See you around. You're a sad man. Zoltan. Hey, hey. No, 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 you, you, you stay away from me, you crazy man. You make me push you on dolly cart at Jamboree Barbecue. I didn't make you push me. They gave me probation for five months. Listen, who's, uh, who's chose this? Why I should tell you this? Don't make me tell Cam who spilled bleach on a velvet bolero. Okay. I'll take to Clark Claxton. Zoltan. You want me to deliver this chair to Clark. You're busy enough as it is. Why you talk like this? You want to leave this chair with me instead. OK, I'll leave the chair with you instead. <laughs> nice. an eye on Mr. Fagan. Oh, I gotta go. Hey, Cam. Listen, I've, uh, I've heard that you're looking for an associate to put on Maple Orchard with Byron Kaplan. Kaplan said he doesn't want you anywhere near the deal, Robin. Okay. I know why he's saying that. It's 
because of this incident when I was a first year, and he asked me to make a client presentation. He said you swore at the CEO of Standard Bank. <laughs> oh, I didn't swear at him. I just swore. I was nervous. Well, judging by your presentation this morning, you've maintained your X rating. Look, Cam, how often does a corporate lawyer really need to speak publicly? Hmm? Fair enough. I would chew my leg off to get a second chance with Kaplan. He's a managing partner. I can't afford to be in his doghouse. All right, Robin, no need to lose a limb. I like you. You're a hard worker. Yeah. Let me think about what I can do for you. Sure. Cameron Belter. <laughs> Set her down behind the desk, R2. <sighs> May the force be with you, my child. Stu, out. Now. So, Darth Connery, what's up? If you're referring to my new top-of-the-line 462 series steel case leap chair with live back and natural glide system, then I suppose the force has grown strong in me, Master. Yeah, so uh, that's my chair, and we both know it. Really? Yeah. What does it say on it that it's your chair? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yes, release your anger, strike me down, ah! and then your journey to the dark side will be complete. Miss Money Bunny. Zoltan? Zoltan, it's Sam. I need you to come to my office right away. Okay, sure. Help me, Zoltan. You're my only hope. Help me, Zoltan. You're my only hope. Okay, Help thank me, you. Zoltan. Yes, you know. You're my only... Star Wars dork. Stu! I thought you gave a great presentation today, Robin. That was really... What? Strong. Get in here. What are you working on right now? I'm really swamped. I... What's this? Product samples. The entirety of the Maple Orchard line. I want you to taste every single product and have a report ready for me by the end of the day. Wait, you can make me do that? It's research, Stu. It's gonna take all our efforts to get me on this deal with Kaplan. With my Cam. goddamn chair. I'm afraid there was some looting upstairs. It was really bad. I'm gonna get you, Kaplan. Oh, that got kick. Uh, Mr. Kaplan, you remember Robin Howland? Nice to see you again, sir. Wish I could say the same, Howland. Uh, right. Uh, Mr. Kaplan, I wanted to talk to you about the Maple Orchard deal. Um, Mr. Kaplan, Robin's making excellent progress with her public speaking. She got a near-perfect peer evaluation on a presentation she did this morning. Finally learning how to speak, huh? Well, wonders never thief. Mr. Kaplan, um, this young associate has proven herself to be one of our brightest attorneys. Give her a chance to plead her case before you decide who you want on Maple Orchard. Jesus H. Christ, Cam. I'm not Mother Teresa. I'm trying to run a fucking law firm. All right, all right. Howland, come to my office at five. Don't be late. <laughs> So, you thought you could, what, just waltz into the Star Wars geek's office and steal his chair? I'm right. You sent Zoltan to get the chair back. Nicely done. I had to. The future of the Rebellion was at stake. 
What is that? Maple stick. Stu gave it to me. Can't believe you're eating in the bathroom. Or you're raised on a farm? As a matter of fact, I was. In a small village on Tatooine. Have a nice trip, Luke Skywanker. I hate myself for it, but I need your professional advice. Want me to show you how to make a white Russian? Do you know Byron Kaplan requested you for Maple Orchard? Yeah, but I have a Star Wars marathon this weekend. Ugh. I want on that deal, Sam. Kaplan's the managing partner, and I've been in his bad books for way too long. I'm on my way to see him right now, and I know he loves you, so tell me what to do. You know, this is kind of like I'm Yoda, and you're Luke Skywalker, and we're in the Dagobah system, and I'm training you to be a Jedi. Sam! <laughs> okay. Uh, well, first off, uh, you must unlearn everything you have learned. That's my Yoda. I will hurt you so badly. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, Robin. You're letting Daffy Duck have too much power over you. The guy's old school. He likes brazenness in his attorneys. I think he respects me because basically I don't give a shit what people think of me. Clearly. It's a confidence game. People are sheep. You say pretty much anything with confidence and they'll just go with it. Also, my mom says it's always nice to bring a present. One of the new chairs. He has been yelling at Cam all day say because... No more. I was just keeping this one because Clark was making fun of my passion for Star Wars. Well. Nerd. Sam, can I have you some fudge? Uh, no, okay. I'm good. Hey, uh, what's with him? Uh, sugar high. How you feeling? I'm good. Where's the chair? Where's my chair, Cameron? Pagan and Lipschitz have four apiece. Well, if it isn't Helen Keller. How's the talking coming along? I, I overheard you saying that you haven't received your new desk chair yet, so... Well, this meeting's getting off to a good start. What's the big fuss about these new chairs anyway? Well, just see for yourself. It's got wheels and these um, arm things and... Oh, and this nice schmooshy back. <laughs> Mr. Kaplan, there's something I need to say to you. So what are you waiting for? You're making a mistake by not putting me on Maple Orchard. You want an attorney who's hungry, and I'm telling you right now, you want me on this deal. <laughs> you know what? I like her style, Howlin'. Maybe I shouldn't have discounted you. I was wrong. Well, if it isn't freaking frack, what do you want? Uh, uh... Uh, no, I was, we you're, were just... You're busy, and you're, uh, we're busy. We're... Everybody's busy. We'll come back. Okay. So, Robin, how much do you know about Maple Orchard? <gasps> well... Well, it was only a matter of time before you guys fatally injured the managing partner. Wow. You think they're going to be able to trace us back to you? Who? CSI, Fagan, and Harrison? Well, Mr. Kaplan is still unconscious, but his vitals are good. 
Oh, that's so good. Obviously, the Maple Orchard deal will have to be headed by someone else. I'm sorry, Robin. And another happy ending for Robin. Robin, I finished that report you wanted. I've eaten 30 different kinds of maple products. Just tad concerned about these chest pains I've been having in my chest. Uh, paramedics are right over there, kid. Think they have time to look at my back? How come Princess Leia was like the only girl in the entire universe? Yeah. Kind of like Smurfette. <laughs> Smurfette? Who's the geek now? Hey. Take it easy, Captain Ellie. Smurfs were a cultural phenomenon. Zoltan bring his chairs, okay? Zoltan takes the chairs out, okay? Everybody wants big chairs. Move, master chair! Hmm. In contemplation of yet another frivolous lawsuit, my beautiful yet defective chairs have been quarantined as evidence. Well, you do it to yourself, Clark, you know? That's what really hurts. Don't give in to hate. It'll only lead you to the dark side. Ah! Motherfucker! That's unfortunate. 